Today we'll deploy a load balanced Kubernetes service using Pulumi, an open source infrastructure as code tool. We'll start with a basic Nginx web server, scale it out, and then build and publish a custom Docker image. We'll be using the new Pulumi watch command to do deployments interactively as we're typing. Typically you'd write your program, then run the Pulumi up command to see the preview and do a deployment, or even run from your continuous delivery system. Watch mode, on the other hand, is great for rapid development straight from your editor of choice. So let's start typing away and build our Kubernetes application. We'll begin by importing the Kubernetes X package. Pulumi supports all of the Kubernetes object model, but the Kubernetes X package provides high level abstractions that eliminate a lot of the boilerplate. For example, here we're using a pod builder to declare that our pods are going to run the Nginx web server and listen on port 80. We can already see in the lower left hand window that the Pulumi watch mode is starting to deploy things. Next, we'll declare our Kubernetes deployment object that will actually stand up the pods in our cluster, as we'll see in the lower right hand window, which is currently watching the kube control get pods command. Also notice Pulumi is giving us detailed status updates. Now it's up and running, we need to declare a service which will allocate a load balancer and expose an endpoint that we can use to access our new website. We'll also export the auto-generated ingress load balancers hosting to make it easy to access from our program. And in fact, the watch window in the lower right is already curling it. Uh, so as soon as it becomes available, you'll see the Nginx welcome page show up. And there we go. Nginx is up and running. Next, let's update the replicas on our deployment to three. We'll hit save, which has already triggered the update. You see the pods are pending and now they're in running status. So now we've got three pods. So we just saw how to deploy and scale a Docker image that already exists. Next up, let's see how to build, publish, and run a custom Docker image. First, we'll create an app directory, which is where we'll place our Dockerized application. We're actually just gonna create a simple website with custom HTML, still using Nginx, but any Dockerized application would work. We'll just say, hello, Kubernetes. Uh, and now we'll go back and create a Docker file in our application folder. This Docker file is just gonna derive from the basic Nginx uh, container image that we already deployed. And we're just gonna copy the site contents to the Nginx HTML directory. Now we've got our application all ready to go, but we actually have to deploy the container and use it from our Kubernetes configuration. We haven't yet had to know which cloud we're even running in. It turns out we're running in AWS using EKS. So we're gonna deploy to a private registry using ECR. We'll point the image builder to the application directory we just created in our project. And we will change the Nginx image reference to reference a newly built image URL. Internally, this is doing all the hard work of provisioning a private registry in ECR. It would work the same if it was in Azure GCP or even using the Docker Hub. Notice here it's building and pushing the Docker image. And now we can see the deployment has begun and is rolling out. We're getting status updates from Pulumi as it does so. And we'll soon see that our new custom built website is up and running. We're almost done, but to really show off the power of watch mode, now we can go and make incremental changes to our infrastructure or our application, and Pulumi will just do the right thing with the incremental update. In this case, let's just change our title to tell us that this was actually deployed with Pulumi. And again, we're seeing that the Docker build is getting triggered because we hit save. It's pushing to our private registry, and now it's rolling out the update to Kubernetes. Again, we're getting the rich deployment status updates from Pulumi. And now we'll see that our update is live across all three pods. In this video, we've seen just a few of the things that Pulumi can do. It's easy to deploy to Kubernetes, scale up applications, build and publish to private container registries, and it's a whole lot easier when you don't even have to leave your editor. Pulumi's open source. Give it a try by going to pulumi.com today.